Hey, this is Chris Menard, Microsoft Excel 2016 with an Office 365 subscription has a great new data type. So in column A, I typed in country. I listed five countries out. I'm going to select them. The new data type is found on the data tab. This actually came out, I believe, in March or April of 2018, but they just made an announcement. There's the announcement that if you have Office 365 with Excel, you should have this data type. It is geography and stocks. I'm only doing geography today. So watch what happens to A2 to A6 when I select geography. So obviously you need an internet connection to do this. It put in the data type for those countries. It also right up here in the top right says, hey, what data type do you want to see? I want to know what's the capital of these countries. So I'm going to select capital. This is so cool. It put them in column B. I want to know more data. I want to know what's the population. I'm going to come back up here and select. Notice I've still got the original countries highlighted. I'm not over in column C selecting. I'm looking for population. Let's see if it's in here. There are a lot of different fields in here. But there is definitely population right there. So there's my population. Now in real life I would be going to B1 and C1 and typing in a label and making it bold. Let's just do one more. I tell you what, before we do one more, let's go in and insert a row. What country? How about Belgium? It thought about it for a second. It put in, hey, this is a geography data type. I'm going to highlight crosshairs for autofill, pull down. It's working. Now, I want to put over in column D another data type. So again, I just highlight the countries. There it is. What else do you want to know? Uh, yeah, I want to know who the leaders are. That sounds good. There we go. That is honestly really, really cool. I think that's the way Excel is moving to with a lot of artificial intelligence. Um, they already gave us the home tab. They already gave us ideas, which I've done before. I'm going to come back and do a more. This video went only three minutes. I'm going to come back and do probably 10 to 15 minutes on how to use these data types. And I'm actually going to pull countries and cities into Excel so I don't even have to type. Thank you for your time. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have a lot of webinars coming up. So feel free also to go to my website, Chris Menard Training, where I just blog and sign up. And that way you'll be the first to know when I'm doing a webinar. I keep my webinars around 30 minutes. That's what I like to do. Have a great day. Thank you.